guys how are you hope you are doing good and at the same time enjoying your modeling and animation so guys today again i am here with a new concept yes concept because more than tutorial it's a thing of concept basically today i am here with the concept of a texture if we see generally the concept is very easy because as one access the viewport of the prisma 3d he or she can visualize the color and texture option there so by simply click over the color or texture he or she may be able to do the same operation so basically where the problem rises the the problem rises because unfortunately uh, an user downloaded the downloaded his texture directly from the google so basically whenever we download any image or texture from the google it's come in the format of a jpeg and by default jpeg is not supported by the prisma 3d and th there's the problem rises and uh, it pr provide the alert of a it's not supported so what the technique we will have, we have to use basically whenever we face such type of issues you simply remove the e from the jpeg and make it as a jpg don't worry the image is still working so let's try so for this particular concept i will use a sphere now sphere is in front of you and without any further modification i will click over the texture part right and from there i have already downloaded from the google i will use this texture atlas texture right so this is in the form of a jpg as you can see globe.jpg and i am clicking over here and now see the magic happens it's completely fine also i can visualize it using rotation right so you can see and what if if i use the color part the color will also reflect let's have a check i will let's say i use some this type of color this sort of color and click okay now you can see so this is the combination of texture and as well as the color part let's again try it by changing something to uh, yeah look but i thought earlier look fine <laughs> so you can see now you can scale it if you wish let's say i scale on x axis two units the same i will do in y axis as well as in the z axis yeah now you can see right so let's provide a plane or the flow and let's scale it as well right okay bring it here sorry select this sphere and bring it here check its position ah move it some to up right okay zoom it again and let's give some texture to our plane as well so click over this texture part and 
and now here let me see what sort of texture let's we will use marble.jpg now you can see the texture is is in front of you right the texture is in front of you guys and if we want any sort of color we can provide it too but it seems not good okay so again go to the texture part and let's say this is one of the texture i have downloaded and uh, go to the light segment and uh, where is our light yeah bring it up first rotate Now you can see the effect of light. Right. So that's in case it's intensity by two. Also, let copy this one. Right. and bring it here up and rotate it right this is your second light and let's change it color to some this also this decreases the intensity by 0.5 so it's 1.5 yep okay next we go to the camera view so this is your camera and let's add some background and let's see Our background is something like this, right? Field of view. Thirty-five. zoom this plane little bit the scale sorry so that it can capture the port right and let's rotate it something like this 
so that it can provide the effect of parallax effect right guys yeah and uh, let some what scale our sphere to so that we can see it clearly so instead of two three 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 and uh, bring it little apart so that it exactly on the above on the floor oh, it just touches the ground right <coughs> now let's do animate it so what i want within a 360 frame it rotated by 360 means every one degree in one frame so start directly start from zero so click over this red icon watch icon so the animation will start from this frame zero frame and move across the 360 frame so how much frame 170 and 270 330 across and this is 370 and so this is the 360 and what I want it to rotate by rotate over by axis by 360 so come here rotation part so this is the X by and the Z and we want it to root, uh, rotate by 360 on y over by axis so simply click over this and put 360 so it will rotate very slowly right and click over this watch icon again now let's play animation now you can see right and what if, if I want to update our animation means from the from this 360, uh, 360 position I want to update it so just simply click over this 360 and let's say we are increasing by a factor of 10 so 3600 now the animation will be faster and again click over this watch icon right and now let's play sorry it's going to be zero so let's say at 360 what i want my rotation to be 3600 I am updating this value right done and ok now I will click now you can see it's updated right. also let's say within our animation what we want after 180 time frame i want it to be a scale so i will access my 180 frame it's 270 it's 240 it's 210 it's 180 right so let's set our keyframe here and as it goes up to wire position 360 right so this is my 360 position and what i want here is to be scaled by 5 so 3 put it 5 done then fire done and now update my 
3600 3600 3, right now update this okay now check after 180 frame it has start to increase this scale in this scale oh my god it's not working because what I think the parameters are not updated and that's the reason so that's rotation be 3600 right and escalate by 5 5 and 5 okay now update the frame and now play animation again now you can see now you can see the scaling is also yeah. okay guys so what we are seeing here when we are when we have the uh, scale up to 5 our sphere goes below the floor so we need to update it again so let's say at 360 right and what we want our frame should be here so that it just touch our ground our base so again we need to update our values so let's say transform position is a First of all, we have to scale it by 5. Again, 5. Again, 5. Right? And bring it a little upwards. It just touches, it should just touch the ground. Right? We want our rotation by 3600. So 3600 at by x now update this point now you can see now it's scaling and you see it's just touching the floor so guys that's all about for this today concept so here in this part i thought it's clear for you how to provide texture how to provide texture with color, how to animate it and how to uh, provide scaling and the rotation at the same time at the time of the animation. So thanks guys, we will meet very soon.